Hi, Araceli. Hi, Exa. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Exa. How are you? Hi, good morning. Morning. Excellent. What happened to your glasses, Exa? No glasses today? No. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, just a uh, little exam on weekend. Oh, okay. And read, read. Ah, read. All right, very good. <laughs> All right, very good. Hi, Carlita. Good morning. Hi, <laughs> Very good, Carlita. I hope you feel better soon. All right, guys. So today is the last, um, the last class of the year, all right? So thank you so much for joining me on the very, very last class. So I think uh, we're gonna see what happens next year, all right? So I guess uh, Miss Elena with uh, Giovanni, they're gonna get in contact to see what happens for next year, all right? So today, as we speak, we're gonna do the very last class. I have, uh, we're gonna do some exercises with the past models and then I have a game, all right, and I also have a list of idioms, all right, that I think are gonna be very, very useful for you. All right, so I'm gonna, um, the list of idioms, I'm gonna show it to you right, like later today, and then I'm gonna send it to you. It's five pages, all right? But they are like, yeah, and there are many more, all right? But these ones are very, very common, and then you can actually use them, all right? So remember that in english we use a lot of idiomatic expressions and they are like very useful for you to understand them all right so we're gonna be doing that today hi uh sofia good morning all right good morning how was your weekend sofia good good all right yes all right very good excellent okay so as i said and we're gonna just review a little bit about what we talked about last class and then I want you guys to do an exercise. We're gonna do two exercises about this one, and then you guys can, uh, we can actually talk about the idioms and the game that I have for you, all right? So here we have, remember that last class we were talking about should have, could have, and would have, and we talk about these type of models. You can find them as past models, or you can find them as models of lost opportunity. Remember that we said that they are models of lost opportunity because it's too late. Whatever you say, it's too late. You lost the opportunity, either you or the person that you're giving the advice to or the suggestion to. It's already late. Why? Because they already finished the action. All right, so for example, if you have, I don't know, if you have a, a child that did not pass the grade, all right, so then you say, okay, you should have studied more, but it's too late. He or she didn't pass the grade, all right? So they're going to be stuck in grade nine another year because it's too late. Um, I don't know if um, you use your phone on the bus and your, your phone gets stolen, you say, mm, you shouldn't have taken the cell phone out in the bus. All right, maybe this wouldn't have happened to you, but it's too late, the phone is gone. Someone has stolen it already. So that's why we say that these models are of lost opportunity because it's done. There's nothing you can do about it anymore. It happened already, okay? So here, before this, I, um, hold on. Before this, I also um, showed you this and I shared this with you, that is a general rule for you to remember when to use should, when to use could, and when to use would, all right? And it's the same way that applies when we talk about past models or law of models of lost opportunity. So we say that when we talk about should, we give recommendation, we give suggestion, and we give advice, all right? That's when we use should. When we talk about could, we talk about possibilities, all right? Now, if we're talking about uh, could have, we talk about a, a, um, a past possibility, all right, because it's already past, all right? If we talk about would, then it's something that 
we wish it would be it would be a little bit different all right so we talk about it or we use it when we refer to imagining results so it's like imaginary situations that's why would have we use it a lot for the third conditional all right and also for the second conditional you say i would if i were rich i would buy a car all right so that when we use wood, we talk about imaginary situations or imaginary results, right? So this is like the big picture of you when, to have, when you have to use should, could, and would, all right? Now, if we add should, um, if we add should have, could have, and would have is the same usage, but in the past, all right? So that's the big difference here, all right? That's why we call them past models or models of lost opportunity okay now with that in mind guys <coughs> excuse me we're not gonna see this again because we already did what i want you to do right now is i want you to take like start like, we're gonna start from this right now i want you to take a picture of this all right and here in the brackets uh, for example for number one you say past possibility so you say, oh, so which one am I going to use? Could have, should have, or would have. And then you have to do the same for number two, for number three, for number four, and all the way to number 11, all right? So think with your classmates, which uh, model of past model or lost possibility would you use when using our, or when we're talking in sentence number one, two, three, four, and all the way to number 11. So please take a picture and then I'm gonna send you right away to your um, groups. So you can start working and practicing. When we finish, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes. We're gonna come back, we're gonna check them and then you're gonna take a picture of some pictures and I want you to talk about those, okay? And then we're gonna do the game I told you about. Did you finish taking the picture? Yes? All right. Yes, okay, very good. So I'm gonna stop sharing here. Hi, Veronica. Good morning. Hi, Eli. Good morning. All right. Thank you for joining us today. All right. So I'm going to send you right now to your groups. So work on those 11 sentences. Remember that you could use could have, should have, or would have, depending on what the context is and depending what they are telling you in the brackets. All right. Good morning, Gabby. So I'm gonna send morning, teacher. morning. I'm gonna send everyone right now to the groups, and then what am I doing? And then you can like work on that right now, Gabby. I'm gonna go to your group so I can show you the picture of what your classmates are working on right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. There you go, guys. Hi, Franklin. Franklin. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Eliana. <laughs> Gabby doesn't have the picture. Eli, do you have the picture? No. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I thought so. All right, so here we go. <laughs> That's okay. okay. This is the picture. I mean, this is the exercise that I need you to take a picture of. Okay. What we're doing, Ileana and Gabby, we are trying to use could have, would have, and should have. Okay. okay. So you're going to read the sentences. All right. For example, number one, you have the whole sentence, you have the verb that you're supposed to use. And here they tell you that they want you to use past possibility. All right, so you have to remember which one is that refers to past possibility. Could have, would have, or should have, all right? Okay. So here, I'm just gonna show you this so you guys remember because I know you just came in. Here, it's a reminder on when to use should, when to use could, and when to use would. Now here, what you have to do is add should have, because we're talking about the past. 
should have, could have, or would have. But it doesn't matter if you use it in the present or the past. What matters is that when you use should, you use it for recommendation, advice, or suggestion. When you talk about could, you talk about possibilities, all right? And when you talk about would, you talk about imaginary results, all right? Now, okay. if, if you go back to the sentence number one, it said past possibility, then you said, ah, so it's could plus have, right? Could, could have bought, that's the structure, all right? Uh -huh. And then you read all of those um, after the, like the other sentences, so you can uh, like define what you should use, either should have, could have, or would have, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone was chatting. So in case you need any help, you let me know, okay? Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I could have this okay, uh, to talk about possibility if something has been different in the past. Hi, Franklin. Hi, Araceli. Hi, good Hi. morning. Hi, good morning. Franklin, do you have the picture of the exercise? Yes. Yeah, you have it? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. very good. Okay, so in case you need help, let me know, okay? Thank you. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. Hi, Berito. Oh, Hi, Sofia. Hi. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. We we so many so people and worried. Don't have enough room for everyone. I'm not worried. I know. Past negative advice. We it's about we should in invite that we shouldn't. We have shouldn't. Uh huh. We have shouldn't. Uh, it's the opposite. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't have. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, I study. That's right. Number three. I saving money years ago. I should have a start. I should, yes, start. It should. Okay. Is this no? Okay. Number four. We we joined. I was We couldn't get a baby sealer. Teacher, what is the baby sealer? A baby sealer is like niñera. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We couldn't join. We couldn't have joined. Who oh. have? Uh, couldn't. Uh, could is a negative. Mm. No, 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 in positive. Uh -huh. Now, Verito and Sofia, when you talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, when you talk about past willingness, is something that you would have done like mm, differently. All right. Uh, Remember, the code is possibility, but here you're talking about willingness. Like, I wanted to do it, but I couldn't. All right. And then it's uh, with. Wool. That's right. Very good. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. mm. We would have, you know, but we couldn't get a, get a babysitter. 
It's like we wanted to, but we were not able to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the is the regular bear joint? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it's fine. Okay. The weather. Any words? As negative possibilities could the weather couldn't. That's right. Vero and Sofia, were you able to finish the platform? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, thank you. Could we have the past participle of B? B. Uh, was the no. word? One croquet. Uh, uh, no. no. Bean. Bean, very good, yes. Bean, Bean yes. <laughs> Very, very to the first is wrong. It could have. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> very good. Could have both. Yeah. Okay, number six. All right, I'm going, I'm, girls, I'm going to go to another group. In case you need help, let me know, okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Dave Albines. Hi, Giovanni. Good morning. We didn't. Hi, good morning. How are you today, Giovanni? Fine, fine. All right, very good. All right, all right how are you guys doing with the exercise? Okay, or you need help? Okay. You're doing okay? Yeah. Okay, very good. Let me know in case you need anything. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sí. Le había puesto cool. ¿Quién está hablando en español? Me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Carlita. No. Uh, God, no. Very... <laughs> How are you girls doing, Ili and Gabby? Because I know Carlita's not feeling well. Four. Four. Uh, number four. Okay. All right. That's fine. Okay. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Frank. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm fine. Are you? I'm fine. Oh, I'm, are you? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Yes, thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> great. It's good. great. Um, Francisco, I'm going to show you this. This is what they, uh, your classmates are working on right now. They're working on this exercise. This one right here. I'm okay. All right, do you <clears> want okay. to take a picture? Francisco, did you finish the platform? Tell me you did. Uh, yesterday I worked in I was working in the platform, but okay. me, I me faltaba uno, el último. Hoy lo termino. El final. Yes, yeah, section final. Cinco. Yes, section number number five. Section number five and the final. Eso le falta. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Eso okay. eso es todo. All right, very good. Because because I have a problem with my me with my password and, and oh. I can't. Uh, All right. Yes. Okay. But you will finish today, right? Promise. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. So take a picture of this, and I will send you to a group. Okay. Thank you. Thank you too. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, so I'm gonna send you right now to one of the groups here. Okay, thank you. There you go, Francisco. Thank you. Thank you.
morning. Hi, Blanky. How are you? Hi. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Very good. Nice to see you. Nice to have you in class. Yo dije, me equivoqué. <laughs> no, aquí está. <laughs> Lo que pasa es que ya están en, 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 um, en el trabajo de equipo. Okay. All right. So, um... La quita cómo va con la con la plataforma. Eh, 92%. Dos oraciones no las puedo hacer por más que le dé vuelta. ¿Es de qué sección, Blanca? ¿Se recuerda? Eh, es la sección C. De, la sec del final. Sí. sí. Okay. Si gusta, cuando terminemos la clase, me escribe y me, me manda la captura. O me dice de cuáles, de las dos que le, le, le siguen saliendo mal, para, para ayudarle. Ok. Right. Este es el ejercicio que están ahorita sus compañeros Blanquita. You can take a picture if you want. Um, no se ve completo. ¿Hasta dónde logra ver? Ah, ok. Hasta, eh, hasta el 11. Es... Sí, hasta el 11. Uh -huh. Ampay. Sorry. Ok, la voy a mandar Blanquita a tu group para que logren terminar ahí con ellos. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Morning. Teacher. Hi, good morning. Sorry, Carlita. I couldn't. No, I have the button. Sorry, teacher. No. I, a... I, this is, this day is so crazy. Yeah. Uh, I'm yes, sorry. I, sorry, sorry. No, uh, no, that's okay. I don't know what is the activity. Right now, Carlita, you know what? No, I'm not going to send you to the groups porque ya lo voy a mandar de regreso, pero se la voy a enseñar ahorita para que vea cómo, lo que estaban haciendo. Okay. This is what they're working on. Siempre con lo de los past oh. models, all right? Should have, could have, and would have. All right, so. I, I take mm -hmm. a picture. Yeah, take a picture, please, yes. For my. Yes. If you don't send the presentation, you have the picture. <laughs> no, but this one I sent it already on Friday. Ah, okay, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, just last ah, Friday. Teacher, but uh -huh. uh, this activity is on is inside the the presentation. Yes, no. it is. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But we didn't do it last Friday. We were like we did it today. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. All right, Carlita, did you finish the platform? Uh, yes, I finished the uh, last Friday. Okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> very difficult, teacher, because uh, I I think that I had <laughs> a headache because <laughs> do oh, it the, yes, do it the 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 exercise. Okay. I don't know what number, but uh, it in gave the you platform, a hard time. <laughs> uh, no, teacher, in the platform and the the sentence. Uh, has 
another or, or ha, uh, uh, has another word. Okay. Uh, I I tell you what what is. Uh, uh, take off your shoes here. Mm -hmm. And and the in parentheses the the phrase the word allow. And mm -hmm. so you are allowed to take off your mm -hmm. shoes here. Point. <laughs> ah. and, but in the platform is uh, without here. Oh, okay. And what, <laughs> yes. is, the, what is the section, Carlita? Um, the final test? I don't remember. I don't have this, uh, the, 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 the dashboard open. Okay, well, that's okay. You can, yes, I'm gonna I think check that it. it. In the final exam Probably. is the, Yes, the complete. Mm, the sentences. Yes, the, the third part. I yeah, think. I think it's letter C. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I'm going to check that right now. So for the ones yes. that have not finished. <laughs> but teacher, I, the, <laughs> very, very difficult find this because uh, right. we have uh, the, the word here. <laughs> right, I know. Oh, it's no. without the, the word. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I'm going to yes, fix it then. Yes, include the, the last night. The here, uh, huh? Uh, maybe at nine or ten. Gabby, tell me uh, what is the solution? Oh no. <laughs> and uh, Gabby, I had a headache the, oh, no. the, the last Friday do it badly. Oh my but, goodness! But I, but I tell he tell her uh, what is the but problem. The, right. This, uh, <laughs> very okay. difficult. Yeah. But uh, it's okay. So. But you finished. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Hi, <laughs> Vanya. Good morning, Vanya. Good morning, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. I'm six. I'm You're six. sick. Yeah. Oh no! What happened, Vanya? You have the flu? Uh, yeah, yeah, the flu. Yeah. Oh no. All right. Uh, Very good. Um my hair? Mm -hmm. Uh me duele? Yeah, it hurts. You have a headache. Oh no. Yes. Okay. Well, you have to be careful, okay? And rest. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes, very good. Vanya, I just have a question. Were you able to finish the platform, Vanya? Uh, only two exercises, uh, not finish. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. From the because, final. Yes, because okay. uh, are very difficult. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe because I don't remember. <laughs> the, there is, um, I think. Well, Carlita Beatriz was telling me that there's a mistake on the platform. Maybe oh, that yes. is why it's difficult to do it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to fix it. Like as we speak so you guys can have like okay is it do you remember if it's the final part c yes the complete the rewrite as re rewrite sentences mm -hmm. it's correct carlita the word here is missing right Yes. Here. Is there any other one, Carla, that you remember from letter C? I don't know if uh, the there are more possibilities than one. I don't <laughs> no, but, that, uh, no, that was a mistake. I'm actually seeing it right now. Uh, Just give me a second. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. save it. Teacher, but yeah. if if I finish, okay, this. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's not gonna. So, uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna affect it. You're finished. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. No, that's okay. All right. Okay, we're gonna bring everybody back so we can talk about um the exercise that I assigned, and then we can have another exercise going on. Okay. Thank you, girls. Okay. okay. Vanya, but you don't have fever. Uh, yes, in the in the night. At night, I uh -huh. have fever. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. But 
el dolor de cabeza si no lo aguanta. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, you need to check that up, okay? Very good. Okay. All right. Hi, Exa. Everybody's coming back Hi. in. Hi. You finished a while ago? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. I was just I was um, with Carlita and Vania. Teacher. Yes, Carla. Yes, and uh, the the part in, mm -hmm. uh, where is the the option the you are you're allowed to it's probably you must I don't know if the fourth or uh, you, is the 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 part of uh, complete complete okay. the sentence uh -huh. mm -hmm. and at the number two right. Uh, Yes, <laughs> this is another that uh, okay. I try, 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 uh -huh. but finally uh, the the answer uh -huh. you are not so is is separate. No, no, with comma and the and the option in the for box. Which, um, is for which the one? For the which number two? Number two on the uh, yes. complete. The, Yes, the answer is uh, you are not, but in the box, it's, it's you're not. All so, right, so that's also from another. the final. Yes, because I, don't, I, I know that the, the platform has mm -hmm. the, the limit. Right, yeah, but I don't see the, uh, I don't see it right now. Is it complete the conversations or like finish the, rewrite the sentences? Um, is um uh, complete the conversation i think okay no no is the the no listening uh, i don't know where it says you're not allowed to no no is this the is this uh, uh maybe the the next all right okay well i'm gonna mm -hmm. check it i'm gonna check it like yes, after, after we finish and then Are yeah you? the, the Sorry, Are you talking about the final exam part B. I think so. I think that's what she's talking about right now. For me, the last, uh, the last part. Uh, reading on the reading. Yes, on the reading. And what happened on the reading? I don't remember. Um, a letter. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Uh, I uh, I have a I. You will check it. Okay. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So while you open it, I'm gonna check the exercise that we were working on right now. Okay. Okay. Let me know at the end. All right. Very good. So number one, guys. Here. Um. Exa, what do you have for number one? I could have bought bread, but I didn't know we needed. Excellent. I could have bought bread, but I didn't know we needed it. All right, very good. Number two. Um, let me see. Carlita was not there. All right, Ileana, number two, what do you have for that one? Number two, we shouldn't have invited so many people to our party. Yes, we wouldn't have. I mean, we shouldn't have invited, right? Very good. Invited. Yes, very good. Thank you. Uh, Blanqui, Blanca, what do you have for number three? All right, Franklin, do you have that one? Number three, do you have it? Yes, uh, number three, and maybe a could have, could have started. Oh, but it's past advice. Remember that when you give an advice and a, a, and a suggestion or recommendation, which one do we use? Should. Should. Right. Okay. That sounds better because it's telling you past advice. All right. So what would it be if you use should then? Yes. It, 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 pardon. Teníamos dos, dos casos. Opciones. Should or have. Opciones. Yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. So you, it's better to say should because it says past advice. We should have started. Right. Or I should. Sorry. I should have. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Giovanni. What do you have? Num what do you have for number four? Um, we we have joined 
we no, we should join. Okay. Now is is the like are you giving an advice or a suggestion for that wouldn't. one? Uh-huh. Wouldn't very good. Okay, we would in this case, right? Yes. Because yeah, we would have joined you at the restaurant. When you talk about past willingness, that means that you wanted to do it, but you were not able to. All right. So remember, it's more like an imaginary situation. You wanted to, but you were not able to. So that's when, when we say about past willingness is something that we wanted to do, but we were not able to do. All right. So it's better to say we would have joined you at the restaurant, but we couldn't get a babysitter. All right. Very good. Senior, can you try to do number five for us? Okay, The weather could have been any worse. All right, the weather couldn't have been any worse, right? Because it says, thank you, senior, because it says past negative. The weather couldn't have been any worse. All right, very good. Sophia, can you do number six for me? Six. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have arrived on time even if, if I would earlier. Yes, very good. Right. Because it's a, yes, because it's a past negative possibility. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Veronica, can you do number seven, please? Yes, teacher. They could have won the football match, but John hurt his uncle. All right. Okay, very good. Next one, um, Araceli, can you do number eight? Um, yes. Amanda couldn't have mm -hmm. finished the work, but she failed it and have to go home. Very good, yes, Amanda would have, right? Because it's, it's affirmative past willingness. Amanda would have finished the work, but she felt ill. Do you understand the meaning of ill, everyone? Do you know what ill means? Sick. Sick, very good, so it's a synonym, right? You can say I feel sick or I feel ill. All right, very good. Number nine, Francisco, can you do number nine for me, please? Okay, Lucy shall have left early. She missed her fly. Okay, Lucy should have Lucy left. Should yes. Have left. yes. Excellent, thank you. Uh, number 10, who wants to do number 10 for me? Me. Okay. We could have finished the game. Even if well, we intend to. It was really very hard and we have to stop. Excellent, very good. And the last one, who's gonna do number 11 for me? I shouldn't have eight. So Ooh. much chocolate, I think. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> All right, uh, what is the past participle of eat, Francisco? I shouldn't have... Eaten. 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 Very good. Yeah, nice. Sorry, All right. No, that's fine. I should I shouldn't have eaten so much chocolate. I feel sick. All right. So yeah. When you eat too much chocolate, people say that you feel sick. All right. I'm gonna stop sharing this with you and I'm gonna show you some pictures. We're gonna stay here because of time. And I just want you I want you to see the picture and tell me, look at the situation and tell me uh what should have been differently or would have or could have. What I want you to tell me is a sentence using either or, all right? So I have this one for you here. So you see these people are fighting, this couple is fighting, all right? Can you, someone tell me a sentence using should have, could have, or would have? Remember it's a past possibility, all right? Or it's something that is not going to change because it already happened. It's a lost opportunity. So what do you think? I don't know. Can you tell me a sentence saying? Uh, he, uh -huh. he should have given the reason to woman. <laughs> that's, very, that's very intelligent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. That's right. <laughs> Another sentence according to this one. Anybody else with this one?
No. Maybe. Uh -huh. uh, you. You should. You should have. To. To be honest. With oh, her. you should have been honest. Very good. That's a nice one too. All right. Very good. Next one. Thank you. Oh no! Look at him. He's crying. Ideas for this one. Mm. Any ideas for the boy crying? Their parents should have stopped the baby crying. Okay, all right, okay. Sure, any other? He should, he should have stayed with his mom. <laughs> Maybe he's crying because he's like missing her already. All right, very good. Any, anybody, mm -hmm. yes, uh-huh. You should, uh, you should um, fight in love so young. Um, <laughs> Oh, you're good. All right. You shouldn't have fallen in love so young. Very good. What about this one? They're hiding. But you saw them, so. <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> Maybe teacher, uh, mm -hmm. when you organize a party, uh -huh. you have sure, <laughs> no, you should have to be sure that <laughs> the <laughs> children loves the crown. <laughs> all right, all right. So you should have like, <laughs> yeah, all right, very good. I see, very good. Oh, what happened to this one? Any ideas? They could have stolen or robbed the bank, but the police was there. Any other ideas? They should have shoot to the thief. The tip, yeah. All right, okay, very good, sure. All right, very good. Okay, let's see. I think that was the last picture I on this one. Oh no, we have another one. What about this guy? He's flipping up, he's flipping out of the cell phone. Let's see, Sophia or Gabby, any sentences related to this picture? They should um, have used the cell phone on the street. All right. Okay. Very good. Maybe you should have a church. The cell phone. All right. Yeah. Okay. I think, and this is the very last one. Oh no. He fell asleep at his work. Why do you think he fell asleep? Or what can we say about should have or could have or would have? She would have. Hmm? She could have uh, uh, <laughs> She would have more to that to that's more. She should have what uh, excuse me, Anasali? She could have uh -huh. uh, that's more. All right, okay, very good. Anybody else? He should she, he should have 
I slept more in her house. <laughs> in his house, his right? House. Yes, no kidding. All right, yeah. That's why I think he's very, very tired. All right. And he won a medal and look, he has a broken leg. Oh no. Any ideas for the doggy? He's a hero. Yeah, he's a hero. All right, but he's shot or he has a broken leg. He has like a cast on it, on him. So what do you think? If you uh, have to have visited the, uh, the vet. Yeah, he should have visited the vet, right? So he gets better. Very good. All right. Very good, guys. I'm going to stop sharing this because I just wanted to practice with that. At the beginning of the class, I told the classmates that were already in that I have this for you that I, I'm going to share with you on the uh, WhatsApp group. And these are idioms, all right? Um, these are like five pages of idioms, but I was actually telling everyone that there are many, many more, but at least these ones would help you express other ideas in a different way or same ideas in different ways all right remember that when we talk about idiomatic expressions or when we talk about idioms we talk about phrases like for example when we say in spanish i don't know um i cannot even think of one right now but like we use idioms a lot in english okay so here you can find a lot of expressions and then it like it gives you an example all right, for example, by the way, when you say, I don't know if you have heard people saying porish or I don't know, pinkish, the ish, have you heard that expression before? Ish at the end of the words? Like you say, what color is it? You say it's pinkish. Have you, you haven't heard that? No? All right, very good. We use it a lot in English and it's about. All right, so for example, I say, so what time are we meeting today? And I say, porish like four o'clock, about four o'clock, maybe a little bit before, maybe a little bit after, all right? So what I like about this is that it gives you the idiom, it gives you the meaning, and then it gives you an example, all right? So you have an idea of how to use them, all right? And this one, for, this one is a very, very common, all right? Uh, a piece of cake, you know that one, right? I think you know that one, that expression, you say, oh, this is a piece of cake. It's like, it was very easy, all right? And you say, the test was a snap. A snap is like this, very fast, all right? So you say, it was a piece of cake. When another one is this, a ripoff, all right? So a ripoff is cuando, in Spanish, you say, me bajaron, all right? You paid more than what you expected or what you should have is and like paid for, all right? For example, um, you buy a pair of shoes in like, I don't know, $50, and then next day, they, they are the same pair of shoes and they are 25. All right, you say, oh, that's a rip off. All right, maybe I had them because I paid more yesterday, all right? So here, guys, is a long list, all right, of idioms that you can actually study, and then you can actually comprehend, maybe not memorize, but it's good for you to know this at this level that you guys are in. You need to express yourselves in different ways. All right. Not only say, you know, uh, for example, you can say, I'm tired of this situation. Another way to say this is, I'm fed up. I'm fed up with this. I can't take this anymore. All right. So these, like what it gives you is more vocabulary that you guys can use and can like actually understand because you are almost well you are in an advanced level already all right so you need to express yourselves in different ways okay so here in this one for example you can change it to he he's fed up with the situation she's fed up with him uh they are fed up with a lot of homework uh we are fed up of these um COVID 19 happening in the world all right so you can change the verb be to whatever you the person you're talking about all right so that's what i'm telling you it's nice that you have an example here because you can actually understand how to use them and then you have here from scratch it's like you know you begin from like the very beginning all right from scratch we're gonna begin from scratch i'm gonna begin from the abc for example all right 
give it a shot is for you to try. All right, so if I say, okay, Ileana, give it a shot, it's like, try it. Can you try to do this exercise, all right? I don't know. So here you have many, many, many things on second thought. For example, you may say, mm, me, mejor cambie de idea, cambie de parecer. On second thought, let's do this better, all right? So if you notice, there are like five pages away that you can actually look through. All right, so as soon as we finish this class, I'm gonna send this to you guys. So I hope that it's gonna be useful for you. Look it over. I want you to look it over at least. And then sometimes, oh, you when you say goody goody, she's such a goody goody, all right? And then that means that someone behaves like really good, like, you know, like never do anything wrong. All right, so you say, oh, you're such a goody goody, Franklin, all right? He's like, no, we have to be, you know, whatever, right? So you can, like, those are expressions that we use a lot in movies, in sitcoms, comedies, um, songs. So they are very useful for you. So here, as I said, this is like a lot of them, all right? So I hope you find it useful, all right? Because I think you need this at the level that you guys are in. Do you have any questions about these idioms or anything that you want to comment about? like the usage of idioms. All right, have you had a list of idioms before? No? No. All right, very good. So they're gonna be useful. You know what, before, a long time ago, I had a book, a book like this of idioms. Y lo presté y nunca regreso. All right, so it's because they are very useful, all right? So if you think five pages is a lot, there are many more, many more, all right? We do talk with idioms a lot, all right? So it's very useful for you. So I hope that you, if maybe you can print them, all right, or do something with them so you can study them and see them. Sometimes you re, you're gonna, like, you're gonna realize that we use them. Like when you're watching a movie in English, you're gonna see an idiom and you say, oh, that's the one, right? So for example, you can say, oh, I sleep like a log, you know? I'm not, right nobody wakes me up i just sleep like you know full all right so here i'm gonna send this to you guys so i hope that you find it useful here all right guys very good ah giovanni nice to meet you this is the first time i see you <laughs> all right very good thank you very good okay guys so we're about to finish okay uh, we had we were together like four weeks i really hope it was like of any help all right that you guys learned a little bit so let's wait let's see what happens in january all right so i guess i assume that giovanni will contact miss elena for the next um uh, for the next year all right to see what's going to happen if you guys are still going to have like online classes or not or how is it going to be about all right so that's pretty much it from my side I do appreciate you being in class. I know it's difficult for some of you or most of you to be in class every single day, but it's good, you know, because it's something that you have set your mind to, all right? You want to learn English, you want to be bilingual because of your own personal goal, all right? So that's very good. I do like to say congratulations to you because it's a sacrifice that you have to do. Nothing comes easy in life especially good things all right so it's very good that you take the moment that you take the time this is for you not for anybody else not for the company not for your family not for your wife not for your husband it's for you all right that's like a personal learning experience that you have to go through all right so thank you so much as i said i hope that you guys uh, were able to finish the platform i'm gonna fix some of the uh, things that carlita and araceli and some other people were telling me about this weekend for me was very, very difficult. Um, I have to like work a lot with my mom. She's old and she's like, you know, she has a lot of problems moving. So I have to go to her house during the weekend and everything. So for me, weekends are very difficult, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna check out Aceli's problem. And if you have like, Carlita was mentioning some other ones. So if you have not finished the platform, please finish it today because we're done. We're not gonna see each other tomorrow. We're finished for the year. All right, so please finish it as soon as you can and let me know if anything else, all right? So I do wish you Merry Christmas because I won't see you anymore, 
All right, and a happy new year. And I hope that if it's online or presential classes, I can be with you guys. We'll see what happens for next year. All right, so I don't know, Giovanni, if you wanna say something or if anybody wants to say Thank something. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Diana. Y muchas gracias a todos por, por poder participar en estos cursos. <risa> Esperamos continuar el próximo año, ¿verdad? Siempre de su apoyo, pues llenando la encuesta de satisfacción, porque es muy importante para nosotros para poder, pues, seguir retroalimentando estos cursos. Así es. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Very good. Teacher, no sé si thank you. Thank you, Carlita. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank very you. Very nice. Yeah, you too. Cámaras también, ¿verdad? Para que se puedan conocer. Sí, el último día. I have problems with my camera. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Uh, I don't have a webcam. I okay, am the, that's okay. desk, the desk. Oh, the desktop. All desktop. right. That's Sorry. okay. That's fine. I understand many things. All right. Very good. Bueno, pues, oh, thank you, Araceli. Nice to meet you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Very good. It's nice to see people's faces. Yeah, very good. Okay. Bueno, si no hay más nada que decir, nos despedimos entonces. Voy a tomar la última asistencia del año. All right. So you guys can go. All right. Very good. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present teacher. Verónica Beatriz Celso. Present teacher. Osmani Exaú de León. Present. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. A María Araceli González Flores. Present. Cinia Elizabeth Mejía. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Juan Carlos Molina eh, Martínez. Claudia Eliana Cazún. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales. Karen Lizeth Reyes. Ann Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys, me despido entonces. Ha sido un gusto de verdad. Espero que hayan aprendido un poco. Nos vemos el otro año. Primero, Dios. Bendiciones y feliz año nuevo. Igualmente. Gracias. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.